Hey everybody, this is Chuck Marone with Strong Towns. I'm standing outside my church. I go to St. Francis Catholic Church in Brainerd, Minnesota. That was where my parents went. It's where my grandparents went. There's actually a little sign inside uh, with my great-grandparents' name on it as part of the people who helped build the church. Uh, I'm deeply connected to this place. This is where I got married. Uh, this is where my kids uh, were baptized and confirmed and all of that. It's a very important place to me. Um, the cool thing about it is it's right in our neighborhood. Um, it's like five blocks from our house. It's one block from my office, which is literally like right there. Um, the recent church council has been, uh, <laughs> I, you know, in, in many ways, like revitalizing the, uh, the church, right? Like getting more people involved, getting more things happening. It's been great. There's a real revival of faith. Um, but one of the kind of precepts of this is that uh, we're going to make it easier for people to drive to church. Um, the idea was we can boost church attendance, we can get more people here, and people can drive and find it easy to park. So as you see uh, behind me, um, we've now built this very big parking lot. Uh, we tore down some of the neighborhood homes, we tore down uh, and acquired some properties in the neighborhood. And we have now built it so you can drive here and, uh, and park. It's very easy, very convenient. One of the frustrations that I've had, not only in that parking is like the, about the worst thing you can do. Um, I had a lot of frustration with some of the uh, people on the church council. I love them, they're great people, they're nice people. They certainly care deeply about you know, the faith and about what we're doing. Um, but they don't live around here, right? They live far distant. And it's hard for me not to see this as reflecting their priorities as opposed to the priorities of people who live in the neighborhood. Um, I noted to them, to many of them, uh, that I felt this was disrespectful to the neighborhood. And that just baffled everybody. How, how could it be disrespectful? And I'm like, well, we, tore, you know, we tore down a bunch of homes. Like you used to have neighbors, and now you have this big parking lot here. Um, the word "perish" comes from uh, Greek, and the words in Greek mean to dwell aside. A parish is an actual physical thing that denotes uh, living next to the church, and it's astounding to me that at a time when you know, we struggle with faith, we struggle with community, we struggle with togetherness, we struggle with loneliness. Uh, as a society, we struggle with depression and suicide and all kinds of things. That instead of making an emphasis on how we get more people living together in community, our emphasis is on how do we make it convenient for them to live far, far away. Whether you're a religious person or not, whether you're a person of faith or not, uh, whether you attend church or not, uh, you still live in a society, a society that has largely suffered from these same kind of ills, right? How do we overcome loneliness? How do we overcome depression? How do we overcome suicide? How do we deal with uh, drug addiction and other, you know, human, very human problems? And whether it is a secular group or whether it is a religious group, it's very clear that one of the, the, the only way we do these things is together, right? Isolation, loneliness is the number one culprit. Is that kind of the bottom of all of these things? And so it's Black Friday parking this week. Uh, I'm thinking about parking lots. I'm thinking about parking. It's one of our priority campaigns at Strong Towns. And I'm just coming out here because it makes me sad that we have joined, in a sense, the parking obsession when, you know, any group, religious or secular, that is about bringing people together, about dealing with these existential problems that we face as a culture today, uh, should be doing everything we can to eliminate parking, to build stuff, to build places for people to get, places for people to gather. And you know what? If you come to church and you gotta walk an extra block to get here, let's do it, right? Let's do it. Um, one little bit of feedback I did get. Uh, we have a lot of elderly people in the church and it's nice for them to be able to park convenient and close. I go back to what the city of Lockport did with their downtown parking problem. 
uh, they tried to solve their downtown parking problem by building huge parking ramps and tearing down buildings and building lots. And they realized like that was the wrong way to go. That was never going to get them where they needed. So what did they do? They went and hired a bunch of high school students on the weekends to valet park everybody. If you go to downtown Lockport today, you're going to see all kinds of amazing things to go to and they'll valet park you for free. Guess what we have at our church? We have a lot of young people who would love, love, love to get here a little bit early and valet park people. Bring them their car, let them park close, go park their car a block away, come back and get another one. I can't think of anything that would be more Christian, more community oriented to do. Every place you see a parking spot, you see a failure in our society. Let's reduce the number of parking spots this week in Black Friday parking.